around here. I know. I know. Breaking we go. News. Yeah. <laughs> we go from that, and oh gosh, we had a few showers today. Yeah. <laughs> God forbid. But uh, we did have a little bit of drizzle from the marine layer, and really this time of year, that's going to be the case. So let's take it live outside on this Tuesday evening here in the Southland, where we do have nice, uh, cool temperatures. Uh, it's cool and breezy after a day today, where temperatures were running about five degrees below average, and we had winds gusting up to around 25 miles an hour in many areas. It is going to be a breezy night. For the most part, these winds have stayed below advisory levels, but we'll keep an eye on those for you as well. Uh, but when I said reverse clearing today, that means it clears at the coast before it clears inland. And this is a perfect shot because you can see how sunny it's been at the beach. And look at inland. We still have those big cumulus clouds out there. Uh, some of them did produce some light shower activity in the mountain areas. We even thought we could see some instability, so enough to warrant uh, some thunderstorms out there. But for now, things are nice and quiet. We do have an area of low pressure to our north. This trough of low pressure is pretty much dug in and it's going to stay here for some time. So our weather is not going to change all that much. We do have clear skies at the coast, but again, over the mountain areas, that's where we are seeing those white puffy clouds. And you can see them perfectly on the visible satellite picture. Looking at our temperatures, we've definitely cooled things down quite a bit. In fact, across much of the south end, we are into the 60s right now, except for Riverside and San Bernardino, which are coming into the mid to lower 70s. But look at these winds gusting close to 30 miles an hour from Lancaster to Apple Valley. So the Apple Lucerne Valleys, the Antelope Valleys, you will be dealing with some gusty winds even at the coast. It is gusty out there and the winds will actually be picking up a little bit as the sun goes down. Those sundowner winds are expected. So for now, we've got some clouds out there, but take a look at your future cast. We could see another round of some shower activity tomorrow morning along the coast again from that marine layer. But look what happens tomorrow afternoon. Same areas in the mountains could not only see some showers, but maybe a couple thunderstorms and even a uh, look at that in the higher elevations that rain uh, will be freezing because it will be a cooler area of low pressure moving on through. But again, really this time of year, this is what we can expect. So no big changes in your extended forecast. So if you're traveling for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies out of Burbank 69 for the high. Uh, if you are headed to Vegas, beautiful weather there, 80 degrees and sunny, 83 in Palm Springs and sunny uh, San Fran to San Diego. Temperatures much like here into the 60s with mostly cloudy skies and a 20% chance of shower activity. So the weather out there today, pretty much the same for tomorrow. As we head into the end of the week and the holiday weekend, maybe a little more sunshine, but still morning clouds, afternoon sunshine. Temps below average, but nice and mild. Back to you guys.